So I spent a few days in Georgetown to experience its surroundings and broaden my perspective of the film locations, particularly the Exorcist Steps and the house at 3600 Prospect Street. They are both iconic, but these two places aren't what this video is about. There was something that I wanted to realize for myself. When it came to the film locations of the original Exorcist, Many online posts and YouTube channels would claim that Jason Miller's character, Father Karras, sat down with Father Tom Birmingham at the Tombs, a restaurant just down the street from the McNeil residence, and admitted that he was losing his faith. In my strong opinion, this is misinformation and untrue. The scene did not happen at the Tombs. Keep watching this video, Exorcist Enthusiasts, because we are going to look into where this scene really happened. Like so many, I didn't question the claim. After all, I had never been to the tombs, let alone Georgetown. Then I remembered a comment made by Michael Blatty regarding a video that explored film locations. In this case, The Exorcist. The narrator thinks that Georgetown is in Maryland, Mike wrote. I would take his narration with a grain of salt. He is also wrong when he says that the scene between Father Birmingham and Father Karras, I think I've lost my faith, Tom, was filmed in the tombs. It takes place in the tombs in the novel, but the owner of the place at the time, a classmate of my dad's in Georgetown, was a staunch Catholic and thought the novel was blasphemous and would not allow my dad to film the scene there. Mike would continue with the actual film location, but I couldn't remember it. And here I was in Georgetown. Now regarding the tombs, let's jump to this certainty for a moment. In the 1990 film, Exorcist 3, George C. Scott and Ed Flanders leave a movie theater and share coffee at a table somewhere. This scene is located at the tombs and can easily be verified. Here is a film still of Kinderman and Father Dyer sitting together in discussion while sharing a meal. And here is a photo that I took while at the tombs restaurant approximately where they may have been sitting. Notice the glassware that hangs over the bar as well as this divider. Both images show the same brass rail and surrounding artwork. Here's another still from the film, and this photo taken at the bar counter of the tombs. Everything matches up. But wait, this is an Exorcist movie. Why was this third film permitted to shoot at the tombs when the original was not? Perhaps it was because the establishment was taken over by the Clyde's Restaurant Group in 1985, and the film's subject matter may not have been an issue. But anyway, let's examine the scene with Father Karras in the original film. To me, the scene appears to be in a much darker location. The bar has a mirrored back and an immediate wall unlike the tombs, and from what I can tell, very little artwork on the immediate walls, if any. When the late Richard McCooey founded the tombs, he envisioned it to keep student celebration close to the Georgetown University's campus. He wanted the decor to be rustic and timeless. This included the beautiful graphic prints that adorns its walls. So, if the tombs opened 10 years prior to the Friedkin film, I would expect the scene to include artwork somewhere. Maybe not, it's a very crowded scene. Also, as the scene progresses, at any moment, did Jason Miller pass the divider between the bar counter and the tables? It could be argued that maybe the divider was added later. But according to Michael Blatty, he recalls it being there when he was a Georgetown student. Jason Miller appears to travel a shorter distance from the bar to the booths than what he might have at the tombs. I would guess that he took seven to eight steps. In my opinion, the trek would have required more steps to the back booths had it been at the tombs. Not only passing a divider and artwork, but the adjacent booths behind him. Wherever Jason Miller was, it appeared to be in a smaller area. So after having dinner at a nearby restaurant, we returned to our room at the Georgetown Inn, and I messaged Mike. He reminded me that the owner of the tombs, Dick McCooey, wouldn't allow his dad to film there. So they filmed at Martin's Tavern on Wisconsin Avenue instead, the very restaurant that I just returned from. So I went back the next day and asked the tavern's manager and our server about it. Both of them confirmed the story. Both indicated the booth that was shared in the shot. It was the booth adjacent to the one JFK proposed in. 
the Paul Scully power booth. Overall, looking back at the scene from the Friedkin film, Martin's tavern fit rather well. The bar counter, what could be seen in the background, the distance from the bar to the booths. Later that evening, I tried researching the history of Martin's Tavern online, and what I found was the cherry to top the Sunday, a Channel 4 news broadcast covering Martin's Tavern, celebrating its 90-year anniversary. Tommy McFly interviewed Billy Martin about its memorable goings-on, including this interesting little tidbit. It's not all politicians. You might recognize Martin's Tavern from the original Exorcist movie. The bartender who pours the beer in the scene in The Exorcist, his name was Albert Fina. And Albert had worked for my family for almost 38 years. And so he told the director, nobody comes behind my bar. And he said, <laughs> oh, well, how long have you worked here? And he said, I've worked here for 38 years. He goes, you get to be the bartender in the scene. That's amazing. Yeah right from the owner's mouth. Not only do we get his confirmation, we learn the bartender's name in the scene and some nice bits of trivia to share. After finding my answer, I'm still asking questions. Like, how did this misinformation start? Where did it come from? Is there more misinformation on The Exorcist out there? What are your thoughts? Please leave a comment below. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. I appreciate your support and thank you for watching this video. Martin's has not changed much at all. The, uh, this paneling that's in here is the original paneling. The bar top, which is mahogany, is original bar top. That's another thing we find about Martin's Cavern is that memories are made here.